Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another Poshmark mystery box. I've been loving selling mystery boxes on Poshmark. You guys have been loving buying them, and I've been loving buying some myself. <laughs> this one came in a Target box, but it is from Poshmark. Um, I've been trying to find more ones that don't have clothes, and a lot of times, like with this one, it was supposed to be home clothing and other stuff, and then I messaged them and asked them if it could just be home. And it was a $25 box plus the shipping. I don't know what's in there. I don't know how many items are in there. I, I don't think it said the amount. It was just like, I just asked for all home. And she said she would put just home in there instead of the clothing. Um, some ones I bought that have clothing and home. I've just been using all the referral credits that I get from you guys when you sign up and then you get $10 off your box from me. I get a $10 credit. And then I've been buying mystery boxes with that. I think I'm out of money now, but I have like at least three more videos that I could do of Poshmark Mystery Boxes, but then I'll just buy out my own money. <laughs> so like I said, it's a pretty decent size box, and I mean, it's probably about five pounds. Where did I put my thingy? Here's, oh, there it is. I found it. So here we got it right here. Let's take a look inside. Like I said, it was $25, and I'll link the closet down below and also my closet. It's fun. It's fun when you get like a little thing and it says that you sold a package. That's always exciting. You guys know I love a mystery. Now, I am unsure if this stuff is new or used. Or family used. This is what I see when I look inside. What do we got for these home situations? This is a thank you? That's what you sent for a thank you? What is it? And it even says Posh on it. Where do you get these bags at? Posh closet. Did you make these bags? Are these available for purchase? If so, how can I get some? Um, I'm not sure if this is a gift or if this is part of the home stuff. I don't know. It just says the like the order resellers inventory log book that's different <laughs> so this is a resellers inventory log book looks like that i'm guessing it's mainly let's see brand and description date source location retail price listing price lowest price That's different, huh? I've never seen something like that. Well, this is a thank you. That's pretty neat. I don't know if I'll be able to use it. I'm not like a crazy reseller. But still, that's pretty neat. <laughs> we got packing stuff. Everything packed up really, really nicely. Did I lose my thing already? I did. I did. <laughs> Well, at least you know that that thing is new. Cutting towards myself. Is that enough? Nope. <laughs> at least we know they are wrapped very well. Whatever it is. Safety first, right? And we have, ooh, it's like a little candy dish. That's pretty though. Definitely breakable. Is there any type of name on it? No, but that's cute. A little detail down here too. Hmm. Got another. Well, that must be part of it because there's another thank you thing in here too. I don't know. <laughs> I do want to know where she got them, but. We'll set the It's a plate. And I always figure anything that I don't want, I can just use a flea market. So I get a mystery and I can also try to like, you know, recoup of things that I don't want. A 
I'm thinking of the plate of some sort. And I'm correct. It's a normal Rockwell plate. And it's by, it says, North America's oldest Knowles. The Musicians and Magus by Normal Rockwell. Is that worth money? There's the back of it. Got like a seal. Official. Authenticated Norman Rockwell. That's different. <laughs> but neat. Then we got this thing here. It also says thank you and posh on it. But maybe this is just part of the thing. Maybe it's a gift. I don't know. Who would have thunk it? Huh? Who would have thunk it? Some gnomes. <laughs> I'll probably keep these gnomes. Maybe I'll, since I already have the other ones here up right now, maybe I'll become my mom and I'll just have gnomes everywhere too. Oh my gosh. What are the chances that there were gnomes in there? <laughs> Very small. We got another big one wrapped up extremely well. <sighs> I mean, you gotta. Because let me tell you, USPS people... I don't think they give a crap about it. Not like my mailman I love, but like I think the people that are like shipping it and get it, they just like throw the stuff wherever. Now we got a mug. Swing on moonbeams, dance on stars. So it's got like a, even a bottom, what is it by? Gift craft? Like a non-slide and even a top on it too. That's different. And you put it in, then you can turn it. You can drink out of the thing right there. I'm lefty. Can it go lefty? It can go lefty. <laughs> That's something you gotta worry about. Like some things you buy and you're like, can this thing go lefty or is it only righty? Because I like to pick up my things with my left hand. But there. There's that for you guys. Huh. <laughs> I asked for home. I got home. And then we got this thing right here. In a bag. I'll probably reuse the bag for sure and then more bubble wrap like everything's breakable <laughs> except for those gnomes just like corning wear a lot of bubble wrap Le Cordon Bleu. It can't be a bowl. Le Cordon Bleu made in Thailand. Ooh, it hangs, I think. There's a hole right here. What are you doing? Or maybe you could put stuff underneath it. It can't be a bowl. <laughs> because it wouldn't have the thing at the bottom. What's a bowl wrap? What is that? Huh? <laughs> Do you hang it? Is it a top for an oven thingy? What is it, Paco? That's a lemon. It's gotta be something you hang, right? Why would you hang that on the wall? It's so thick. You want to smell that? I think he thinks there's food. I gave him some trees a minute ago. Um, I'm baffled. Here's the brand. Le Cordon Bleu. Which is an amazing chicken with ham and cheese situation. You're going to have to let me know. I'm, I'm going to say you hang it on the wall. Though I couldn't imagine putting a nail... Because you couldn't even get a nail... Like, you're not going to, like, nail it in. Like, a nail head is bigger than that. And if you use too small of a nail with no head, it might come off the wall. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> well, this is kind of a short one because not really, like, a lot of things in this box. But I wanted to kind of do this one separately because it was legitimately all home. 
I guess I don't, I don't know if these are gifts or if they're part of the home. Because this is definitely could be part of the home, but this really isn't part of the home. So I'm thinking this is a gift. These might be gifts too. <laughs> That's the thing about, like, when you open up a box, like, you don't know. I don't know what happened when I'm going into it. I do think this is neat, though. I wish it was the other normal Rockwell. There's a bunch that, like, I remember and recognize. I wish it was one of them. He's being all, like, demanding again. How come in Poshmark boxes you decided that now you want to be demanding? It's only, it only seems to be Poshmark boxes. It's like, you know? I don't know. <laughs> so, sorry this is kind of a short video, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I opened it all. I showed it to you. We move on. <laughs> so, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed, today's the day. Because of my six foot one attitude. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.